this video is about what you attract law of attraction nah boys don't listen to this and stop watching the video because i am telling you this is for everybody and i'm not just talking about the type of people you attract for relationships i'm talking about the type of people you attract uh, attract in general you attract what you portray simple as that my jaw really hurts and i feel like it's because i need to yawn no we're good i feel like people have such an issue with the type of people that gravitate towards them you have to think about what image that i portray of myself to make people think that they can approach me if i portray myself in a sexual way so if i'm always wearing revealing clothing i'm always talking about sexual things if you go on my instagram there's like really revealing pictures i should not be surprised that i'm attracting people that want sex do you get what i mean do you get what i mean whoa what kind of accent was that if you portray yourself as someone who is very money orientated design orientated you will attract people that love and identify with money and designer so if you portray yourself in a certain way you can't complain that you attract those type of people i hear a lot of girls saying why do i attract trash men or why do i attract men that only want sex and i hear a lot of guys saying oh these girls they only want me for my money or they only want me for my drip or for my car if you portray those things as a big part of your identity you're going to attract people that are attracted to those things so you should portray what you want to attract since i've made my relationship with god a big part of my identity everybody say yeah i've been attracting a lot more people that also have god at the center of their lives or want to have god at the center of their lives like i just find more kind of godly orientated people god brings them to me like and they kind of gravitate towards me because you gravitate to what you're comfortable with or to what you're familiar with if you don't like what you attract change how you portray yourselves you guys you'll complain that girls oh, they just want me for my money you're posting stacks to your ear ring 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 trap line calling or ring 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 that's the money calling what do you expect to attract you're gonna attract girls that are interested in those sort of things if a girl loves money and she sees that you have money she's coming to you do you get it if a girl wants a man with a car and she sees you have a car she's coming to you I said that. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Don't I'm go not, anywhere. I'm not. Don't go anywhere. I'm not saying don't portray these things, but don't complain about what you attract as a result of portraying yourself that way because you've chosen to put out that image of yourself. If your image is telling people this is what you're about, then you're going to attract those type of people. If you don't want to attract girls that are just after your money, then don't portray yourself as someone that has a lot of money. Keep that part of yourself back so that you know that you're attracting people for the right reasons and then afterwards those things will come to light once it's already a fact that they like you for who you are if you gossip you're gonna attract people that like to gossip if you oh, Sophie, I forgot to tell you. if you gossip you'll attract people that like to gossip if you are intelligent you will attract intelligent people if you are successful or have a successful mindset you will attract successful people or you will attract people that aspire to be successful i cannot stress this enough you attract what you portray. Don't underestimate the value of the image that you put out. That's what people mean when they say like first impressions mean a lot. Someone's first impression of you can have a lasting effect. More time, people don't forget that first impression of someone. If someone makes a very, very good and different, unique first impression on you, you're gonna remember. Same way if someone makes a very, very bad first impression on you, you're gonna remember. So make a bold first impression. Make a bold statement in presenting who you are. Make a bold statement in the image you portray but make it a good bold statement make sure it portrays who you actually are your your core values what motivates you make sure that's the image you put across and make sure that's the impression that people get of you in titus chapter 2 verse 7 it says show yourself in all respects to be a model of good works and in your teaching show integrity and dignity in first is it one timothy or first timothy I never really know. In 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12, it says, Let no one despise you for your youth. Set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith and in purity. So that's basically saying, show people who you are and set an example in the way you speak, the way you carry yourself, your morals. The way that you live your life is an example to other people. People are always watching you and you're always representing God and you're representing yourself in the way you act, the way you speak. So make sure that you're being a good example, you're being a good role model and you're portraying yourself in a good way.